Hollis sent me their entire new lineup of wings. Wings in every size and configuration, backplates, harnesses, hardware, the works. I'm going to review them all this year, starting right here, right now, with this 22 pound travel wing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James, as always. So great to see all of your smiling faces. Welcome back to our channel, where we make videos with one simple goal in mind, and that's to help make you be the best scuba diver you can be. Now, this is the first gear review video for 2023, and we're starting the year with BCDs. Now, you guys know that when I do a review video, I'm not a massive fan of just reading off the specs to you. I grant you a certain level of intelligence while watching my videos. If you're interested enough to watch a review video on this product, I'm gonna guess that you've already been to Hollis's website and you've read the ins and outs of the materials and all that good stuff. If you haven't, I will put a handy link to the ST22 in the description of this video below. You want to hear my impressions as someone who has actually taken it diving. So, as this wing was designed for travel, I took this bad boy to Honduras. Now, I'm gonna tell you what I love about this wing, what I thought could possibly be improved in future iterations, and spoiler alert, there's only one thing I could really come up with, and who I think this wing is best suited for. And yes, Hollis sent me all of this awesome gear for free, but this is not a sponsored video. So let's dive into it. What do I love about this wing in particular? It is a true travel product. When a company calls something a travel whatever, you're telling me that we've taken our regular product and pared it down to just the essential features and taken design care to reduce its size and weight, making it easier to pack and easier to travel with. This is my toothbrush. This is my travel toothbrush. This is my Hollis single cylinder wing. This is my Hollis single cylinder travel wing. Now, apart from maybe your fins, your BCD is probably the bulkiest item out of your whole diving ensemble to pack. Well, look at this thing. Insanely slim, packs down to nothing in your luggage, fantastic. Next up is lift. Yes, less lift. I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole again. No, I won't do it. You guys know my thoughts on lift. But for those of you who still insist on overweighting yourselves when you dive, you will be glad to hear that this travel wing, whilst slim, has 22 pounds of lift, which in such a small package is quite impressive. When you consider that other travel wings are typically in the 15 to 18 pounds range. Underwater with correct weighting, this wing feels like nothing. And that is what you want. You don't want bulky, flappy, roly-poly, loosey-goosey wings. I want rigid, controlled, and balanced. And this is what this wing provides for you. Also, this wing does not taco. And a tacoed wing is the only kind of taco I say no to. Next up is the tapered shape. There was some intention put in here by the team at Hollis. Have a look at the shape and side profile of this wing. Follow these two seams up. Look at how they taper towards the top. So it's thinner at the top than it is at the base. The wing is also wider across the base than it is at the top. This means that the donut bladder inside has more space at the base of the wing than it does at the top, which forces any excess gas in the bladder to move down and around. This helps you with trim because it means you don't have a huge air cushion of trapped air or gas behind your neck that forces you into a chest up position. It keeps you nice and horizontal and provides lift lower down. Have you ever noticed that the diver in nearly every training agency's logo is out of trim? That should tell you something, shouldn't it? Complete modularity, because this is a true backplate and wing system, you can pair it with any combination of backplate and harness you should so choose. Of course, because this is a travel rig, I chose to set it up with the aluminium backplate to save luggage weight. Hollis also sent me this super cushy Elite 2 harness, which I didn't love for reasons I'll talk about when I review that product, but for simplicity and weight savings, if I was to do it all again, I would probably just go with a simple Hogarthian single piece of webbing designed harness. Now, again, 
if this is the only BCD you ever need because you only ever dive on warm waters on vacation, great, set it up for that. But if you already dive cold water back home and you already have a backplate and harness that's been fitted for you that you use in cold water, great. All you need to do is swap out your larger wing for this travel wing and now you've got a travel setup. So it is a modular design, super important. A couple more things that I absolutely love. The ST22 has built-in cylinder band slots and these rigid little cradles here, which mean that you don't need to buy a single cylinder adapter as you would with other wings. So essentially you can thread your cam bands through your back plate and through your wing no need for a single tank adapter, wrap them around the tanks and your cylinder is nice and secure. And by the way, there's space enough for two cam bands, so your belt and braces. Also, just a weird side note here, but the Hollis ST22 inflator hose assembly is a very generous length. Being a bigger guy, I don't like it when the inflator hoses on travel wings are shortened to save space and weight, and it just doesn't sit right on your shoulder and it's always up here somewhere and you can never find it when you want it. I like it that it's a regular length here and it sits exactly where you want it to be at all times. Okay, so that's everything that I loved about this wing. What would I change? There's really only one thing, and that's the dump valve. Now, the dump valve works perfectly fine. It's located exactly where you would want it to be on the left front kidney there. Uh, but I do wish they'd chosen a low profile design. This is a travel wing. It's meant to be thrown into luggage and have other gear piled on top of it, and it's gonna get crushed. So these days, it's very common to see low profile dump valves that don't protrude too much and aren't gonna get crushed or ripped off. Um, so I'd like to see that improved in future, it'd be more streamlined, but the dump valve that's on there works perfectly well. But other than that, as my good friend Captain Joe would say, it's simple, clean, sexy, and fantastic. So who do I think should buy this wing? Well, the first thing that came to mind is this would be a great wing to put your child in for their first backplate and wing setup. Raise them right, bring them up right, get them on that BPW. But more than that, anyone who gets on an airplane to go somewhere to do warm water diving, this wing would be perfect for. This wing will work for any diver in any warm water scenario diving a single aluminium cylinder. Now, I certainly had a great time filming this wing when we were in Honduras, and when I'm on a commercial shoot, and that's what we went to Honduras for, I need steady footage. I'm being paid to film. I can't be rolling around, so my wing needs to be fairly rigid and balanced, but at the same time, I don't want to take a huge amount of gear with me. So the ST22 gave me that nice balance of being really firm, really rigid, really stable underwater for filming, but still being a travel wing and being light and easy to pack. If you have experience with this wing, let me know in the comments below if you have any pros or cons I didn't mention. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, because it helps us out to keep making these videos. I will see you next Monday. Dive safe, dive often.